Today's journey into the jungle is about a one life warlock. There's lots of quests to conquer here. Emulate there. Good stuff. LOSing. Look at that. He's gonna cast again. We do a saucy LOS. Oh, he's pissed. Elite monsters to evade. I offer you an egg in these. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, are you crazy? No, 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 no. I have no health and levels to be gained. Will the little gossy be able to survive? Time will tell. We are back in the jungle and we're ready to rumble. Goes here. So we need a bunch of the shards. We need to kill some trolls. We're gonna go a little bit all over the place, but the first thing we will do though is the basilisks. Okay. There's supposed to be like some spawns up here. Maybe they uh I don't know if they share spawns with the tigers, actually. They might do that, but I am not too sure. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's the bad boy. Oh, hello there. I have some bad memories with these boys, guys. If you don't know, uh I lost my highest level uh, hardcore character to one of these bad boys in Sulfrag. I basically tried to solo sulfurac on a rogue and i almost finished up but then i died do that we'll bring it into the corridor but we'll just tank it a little bit we'll just like backpedal it back basically actually can we just tank her like this ah we should bring her back right because of the path that's bad that's bad okay you know what uh can we do this actually this is maybe not good let's just i'm dead no i'm dead I forgot it had the gaze. No, I forgot. I should have vanished. I, sh I forgot about the gaze. Yeah, so we need the crocodile skins and we need the, the basilisk. But yes, we did die to uh, a basilisk in Sulfurac. But apart from that, though, we're chilling. So we just need some of this and then we'll slowly get started on all these quests here. STV is actually a really, really good zone to quest in. We already got the first quest done. But first, I have a few words about today's sponsor. Eversoul. Eversoul is an idle hero collector RPG with a turn-based strategy element to the game where you can level up and upgrade your characters as you progress through the game. As you're fighting, your characters will be building up the ultimate power to generate a massive ability that does huge damage. Each character has special effects with epic souls that has lots of different animations when summoned, when they're using their skills or ultimate abilities. Here we see Claire use the ability called Noble Oath, increasing her attack and defense by 20%. There is a main campaign you can follow and a lot of different areas in the world you can explore. As you are running around the town, there can be monsters which you can slay for some quests. There is a big amount of zones that you as a player can explore. You can even meet your own souls and build your very own town as well. There are tons of different characters that you can play as in Ever Souls, so that you can choose the one that you think is the best for your style. Thanks again to Ever Soul for sponsoring this video, and now on to the hardcore gaming. Uh, let me just uh, pick up these quests here: Hello. Panther and Tiger Mastery. Oh. We turn in this quest as well. Hello, Hemet. Hello there. Let me sell all of these screens here. It is time to slay some tigers. Yeah, we'll, we'll work our way up here, and we can get all the basilisks that's up this place as, as well, right? Any dungeons soon? I need to be a little bit higher level for RFD. I think once we get like 37, we're probably gonna be doing RFD, but we do need a, like just a little bit more, a little bit higher level, and then we can go do it. So I think 37 or 38 will definitely do RFD. But for now, we are rumbling in the jungle you need to be level 39 for the rfd quest oh okay so once we get 39 we'll do rfd guys yeah okay that's the plan then oh let me make a hillstone i completely forgot you remember we always said we started there with a hillstone mate i forgot to make one and i got crystal gazed again right, let me make a hillstone i should always have one of these man like a uh, dude 500 health. you can see here whenever they cast the, the crystal thing so I, I go up to him you can see his mouth is gonna start going crazy soon Okay, he didn't want to do it. Okay, I'm going to show you on the next one. That right there. You run away, and it doesn't hit. That's how you avoid it. Because it's like a it's like a, a really, really short range ability, right? So, uh, yeah. We just avoid it by jumping back. Sometimes I forget, though. Why is it better than White Walker? Imp just is his big damage. There's a lot of people be like, very angry at me for not using the White Walker. I cannot believe he's not using the White Walker. Is he insane? He's going to regret it once he dies to not having sack. Guys... I am, a, I, I am the gussy. I will never die. Carl is by my side. Sack is a sacrifice. It's called sacrifice. You can sacrifice your Wart Walker and it gives you like a shield. Which is why Wart Walker is incredibly powerful for hardcore, right? Because you can have a Wart Walker up, then you sack it and you get an insane shield. And if you go Demonology, you can get Soul Link as well, which is reduces the damage you take by a lot as well. And you can also get that ability where you can cast like a super fast, uh, is it this Master Summoner or whatever? Your, ne your next Imp, Wart Walker, suc oh, Succubus, Incubus, or Fell Hunter Summon has its Casting time reduced by 5.5 seconds and it's mana cost as well. Yeah, so you can summon like a, like you can sack your White Walker, gear him up, instantly summon another White Walker, and you can have double sack, right? That's why White Walker is so strong. But I'm going imp build. Do you see this big tower over there? That big tower right there, guys, there's gonna be a big foreman in there, we, which we have to go slay. So uh, let's go there now.
Are you, you gonna go up? Are you scared? If I pull these, is he gonna steal the boss? Good luck. Okay, I'm gonna go up then. Okay. Gonna dot this one up as well. Eloist this. Nah. Wait, we can't Eloist with that? Okay. Can't LOS with anything. Yeah, this is I don't think this is LOS because it's not like a structure. It's just like a it's like hollow. Oh, this guy is uh, level 38. Alright, let's gossle this guy up here. Emulate there. Good stuff. LOSing, look at that. He's gonna cast again. We do a saucy LOS. Oh, he's pissed. Foreman Gossel is pissed, guys. There you go. Let me get the key. Nice. No, I will definitely be doing Scarlet Monastery as well. So how we usually do it with Scarlet Monastery is that you do all four at once. So once we're level 38, 39, we're going to be making a group and we're going to be doing graveyard, uh, library, armory, and cathedral at the same time. So we just do one big sweep of all the all, all the dungeons. Um, now we just have some, uh, some pomage to get done. And then we're gonna have a lot of dungeons to do very soon as well, which is gonna be dope. But for now, we're gonna be the Goblin Slayer. I'm like an... Yeah, that's me. I'm the Goblin Slayer right now. We need to keep all the pages. Uh, I have a few pages as well in my bank, and we're gonna try to stock all these up and hopefully finish the quest at some point. Fear them? I will pull everything if I do that. Not a good look. Jesse, we need to cook. We need some crystals. We need one more crystal, Jesse. I kind of want to get a wand soon, man. I want to get a new one. This wand has been, uh, you know, doing our... our, 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 our bleh. Our stuff good, but we need a new one soon. All right, we're chilling. This way, gamers. I will show you the way to the promised land and beyond. Where's Ludovic? Look at him. Still haven't died, man. Gamer. Morning to you too, man. Morning. Yeah, now we're gonna get some tigers. And then we'll also get some panthers over here. Yeah, we'll get the panthers on this little first platform and the tigers down there. We are blasting. It, it's, I'm a little bit torn, man. I'm kind of happy I'm not Horde right now because the Horde has to kill like a billion trolls. But generally speaking, Horde has a way easier time leveling, man. Their quest hops and everything is just so much better located. It's ridiculous, but you know, that's how it goes. We'll kill some of these as we go here, right? I'm, I'm in a little bit of a in-between spot right now where there's not like that many crazy stuff. We need some Elder Strangle Thorn Tigers, guys. So let's focus on these first and we'll get it done right people keep dying left and right i think there's a buttload of people right now playing like i'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you bro there's like four full guilds on eu or something there's a lot right now just gaming it uh gaming it on hardcore hardcore has had like a recent boom of like a lot of players so i mean it's pretty dope i am still using my cold rich valley brazers i remember when i got really excited about these oh my god bro are you kidding me i thought i had replaced these by now i mean they are enchanted <laughs> okay they, they are enchanted so it's not bad okay oh god yeah maybe we should buy some vendors and i'm like white vendor brazers or something like that, that that's okay well uh, that okay i don't even know what to say man i do not know what to say you know what i would say though is I, if i was watching this stream i would say park champ in the chat. Yeah, I'll be heading to the... I think I'll be heading to uh, the Duskwood. Or like, not Duskwood. Desolace next. So uh, we're definitely gonna do some Desolace gaming as well. Should be very good, man. Get some stuff in, right? We'll make it all the way. I've said this multiple times before, but uh, there's two things that's always certain, guys, when you're watching a Guzu TV stream. The first one is that we're gonna be absolutely lasting. And the second one is that every single game we play, we will complete. Hardcore challenge, level 60, Raft. We're gonna beat Raft, guys. We're gonna beat the hardcore challenge. We're gonna beat every single. Don't worry about it. These guys, this guy, you see him? He's thick. Okay, and he's gonna hurt me a lot because they do like a fire nova. Yeah, they have the first thing that they have is they have lightning shield Which does a lot of damage and then they also have that thing. Holy man. Look at my health man. Look at that You saw how fast my health went down. Why do you think hardcore is so popular at the moment? Probably because wrath is not that exciting right now Like all wrath is just doing knacks at the moment or like arena if you're like an arena enthusiast, right? But wrath is good But like it's just not that fun doing knacks over and over and over and over again, right? Because like we've done knacks in vanilla, right? So yeah, it, it, it's just because of that. And I think a lot of people just like vanilla. It's it's a combination of Wrath not being insanely good right now with Nax. And then, like, people liking vanilla, right? So, it's... It's like that, right? Hopefully, we can get the page do quest done. Usually, whenever I do the uh, Green Silver Strangle Thorn, I always buy the remaining, right? But we can't do that since we are hardcore. Are there any Raptors here or am I DC? Okay, thank God. Jesus Christ.
I'm gonna wait for some more Wapters to respawn in the back here. Uh, while we do that, I'm just gonna go real fast and explore this island. Because this island is for another quest that we need to explore. So we're gonna real fast jump down here. And on the way back, we can get the Basilisks and the rest of the Raptors that we need. What's up, uh, comrade? Ooh! Spirit is useless for us, though, but... Ooh! Okay. Hey, hey. I offer you an egg in these... Ay, ay, ay! Oh, are you crazy? No, 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 no. Holy run, 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 run. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have no health. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Let me just run away from this real fast. Okay, I was reading a message about X in my chat, and I was not paying attention to the game. Let me just get away from this guy. Okay, you almost killed me, Rake, by the way. I just want to let you know. Yeah, you leave. Go away from me now. Leave. Leave. Th that's what I thought. That's what I thought. My spawns. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him in one of these. The theory is the mage has died at level 30 in Duskwood. Her last words were, what sort of dumb fuck idiot you gonna be to die on mage? Lama. <laughs> oh no. Well, that's a rip, isn't it? Oh god, the last words. I'm telling you guys, mages have the biggest ego when it comes to like hardcore, man. They are the ego Andes, man. I myself am a very humble and very, very, very handsome warlock. Any island explorers in the chat? Okay, we are now good. Let's not do this part, but uh, let's go turn on some quests, guys, okay? We're gonna be dinging level... Oh my god, look at that, guys. Holy, that feels good. Let's go turn it in. Damn, that's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah, just having everything done like that. Just turn these bad boys in. They don't give a lot of qu XP like these, like, uh, kill quests. But you get a lot of XP just from, like, well, killing all the mobs. So that's where it's worth it, right? All right, let's go to Bootsy Bay, guys. And uh, we're gonna think level 36 now. I know, I know, Crank. I'm working on it. Okay, there you go. We can't... St we still cannot do this... We cannot do this quest, guys, because you need a bunch of uh, ore from Hinterlands. Uh, like, up here. Oh, no, not Hinterlands, Arathi Highlands. You need to go into a cave up here and then mine a bunch of ores. But we can't do that, and we can't buy them from the auction house because we're hardcore. So this quest is a big L. Um, regardless, though, let's set in, guys. Oh! Level 36? Let's go, the big gussy. Yep, buddy. Let's go. Oh my god, all these quests, man. I'm I'm overloading on quests right now. Um, let's get a final level of suppression. And uh, we're gonna get one more Grim Reach after as well. Okay. Nice. All right, let's go get some uh, skills, guys. Level 36. All right, now we got the actual report. There you go. Nice. All right, let's go train our skills. All right, what do we get? Oh, yes. Oh, that's a juicer. Spellstone. Raise a spell spawn for the caster when equipped and used. The spell stone removes all magic effects from the caster and will absorb 400 magic damage for one minute. In addition, equipping the spell stone improves your chance to get a critical strike with spells by one. So is that like a thing I have in my offhand? Or is it like a... Uh, how do spell stones work? Okay, I'm gonna put my new Shadow Ball on. Is that like an offhand? Oh, that's an offhand. Oh, shoot, I have a staff. Level 38, we can get imp uh, fireball level 5. Okay, let's go turn to the quest. I have, I've never played this class ever before, so it's pretty dope. What can I do for you? Here you go. Keep your feet on the ground. King's tribute. Hi. Oh, a king's tribute. That's the thing we did in in Hillsprat. Yeah, where we collected all the rocks. Okay, let's turn this in. He's gonna make. Oh, look at this. Gussy, Gussy, Gussy. Tell me you have enough Eldritch granite for me to begin my masterpiece in order for Soli Balu. Perfect. Better than I could have imagined. And I have uh, quite an imagination, you know. I'll get to work right away, Gussie. There you have it. The king should be quite pleased if I do say so myself. This guy's a gamer. The king guard should be along shortly to pick up the memorial. In the meantime, come join me upstairs and let's finish a little chat, Gussie. Ah, such fine stones from Lodron. Such a shame the land is in such shambles. But the memorial came quite quick, well. I should think the king will be the most pleased with it. Okay, nice stuff. I see them in you. Why Good I stuff, mate. Look at us, guys. I cannot believe that first aid is the only profession we're actually leveling. <laughs> oh, God. Please. It is time to go to Desolace.
Is that who I think it is? Look, looking down on you from up here feels right. Why, you ask? Karma's anger was soothed earlier. For a moment, anyway. It whispered a repentance of a better future. But then, it screeched. Like a tram carrying this naive hope away. It's clear as day now. Nobody will deny it anymore. Nobody will be your apologist. You stood at storm inside of the deep run tram, right next to Nipsey. After all this time, avoiding that place, flying between the cities, you finally gained the audacity to stare your evil origins in the face and smile. Look at me, up here. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm <laughs> Okay, I'm trying, I'm really short. If this world knows any justice, you will not ride a mount. These wastes will be your tomb. You will die here and we'll be left to fix the world ourselves. To fix the errant key lines that you've maddened. Look at these bones behind me. Mightier creatures than you have fallen here. I wonder if the buzzards likes the taste of no. 